I wanted to share with you today my summer book haul. So I've been kind of collecting these books since about June when I started planning on doing booktube on this channel. So the first book I purchased was Children of Blood and Bone, or one of the books I purchased, but that's the only one I don't have in my possession yet. I'm actually really excited about that book though. I can't even remember exactly what it's about, but I know it's about like, um, I think the backstory is kind of like a cultural myth, and then also it's about like a girl who her family is magical and magic is like banned or taken away and she has to get it back or bring it back and fight some bad guy. So I have been getting more into fantasy type things. Like I've been trying to broaden my horizons because I do read typically a lot of historical fiction. So the first book I have here is Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. This book I already read. I actually read it when I was at the cottage and I was not in love with it. I didn't really like it. Um, I think I gave it two or three stars. I can't remember if I was like super ruthless with this one or not, um, but I did not really enjoy this one. The synopsis was that there's a bunch of women who they end up dying and you don't know if they've been murdered or if they've committed suicide at the local drowning pool, which is what they call the certain part of the river that runs through their city. And then there's like a cliff drop off of there. So it's essentially kind of like a mystery thriller. I was not super into it, but a lot of people did like it, so I picked it up. Not my favorite, but that was one of the books I purchased. Another one that I got, which you guys have heard me rave about a couple times now, probably. And if you follow me on like Instagram, you know I absolutely adored All the Light We Cannot See. It's it's very much like real life, and then there's like a tiny little like magical element, and it's not really even magical so much as like. Um, there's like a curse on this stone, it's supposed to be like a magic stone. Um, that doesn't really infiltrate the book a lot. It's more just like people wonder if it's true, wonder if it's not, but it's kind of like an interesting little element. It doesn't add a lot to the book, but it doesn't take anything away from it either. Um, but essentially it's about a character named Mary Lore, who is a French girl and she is also blind and her dad works in a museum and you follow their story through the end of World War II and she's in France. And then the other side of this story is um, Werner Fennig, who is a German boy who grew up in an orphanage, and he's super brilliant, and he ends up getting put into like one of these special German schools and enlisted into the military, and he builds radios. And then at some point, their stories intertwine, and I just think it's a really interesting story. You learn like about their family. There's also like a third perspective but it's not um, a huge part of the book there's like a third guy who's kind of following throughout the book he's like um he's also a german soldier kind of he's got a ranking but that he's not really like a fighter so much as like um someone who looks at gems i can't remember what the name of that is but he like looks for obscure items for like museums or whatever but anyway i really loved this book i keep it near and dear i think there are a couple elements that maybe were overdone but overall i gave it five stars and i did like that book the next book that i have is salt to the sea by ruta i think it's ruta sapitas i've never heard anyone else say it so i'm not really sure how to say it but essentially from what i originally read and i don't really like to read synopsises you guys know that but it's about a bunch of refugees i think who are somehow stranded on a ship and they have to like save each other or get somewhere. I'm not exactly sure. I know that was a really bad um, explanation, but I've heard really good things about this book and a couple of my friends who I have similar book tastes to have it on their to read shelf as well. So I ended up picking this one up off of Book Outlet for like $9 maybe or $11. This next book that I got is called Starting Over by Tony Parsons. I totally thought this was something about a girl getting pregnant, but I must have read a different book because this is about a man who has a heart attack and he receives a new heart and essentially you just follow his life and his new plans or whatever. I have read a few Tony Parsons books. I can't remember what they're called off the top of my head, but I've read at least three or four that I really liked. So I picked this one up because I haven't read them in a really long time. I don't like to read too much by one author in a row, unless it's like a series, because I feel like sometimes the writing styles are similar or the stories end up seeming like they're the same thing told with different characters. So I like to kind of space them out a bit. The next book that I got is by Frederick. I've heard people say Bachman, but I'm not sure if it's Bachman or Bachman. Um, but I think most people say Bachman, so we'll go with that. Uh, Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. This is about, as far as I know, it's about a hockey team and a girl ends up getting raped, I think, by like the star player of the team. And the opening sentence is like, 
crazy ominous. So I do want to get to this one at some point. I think it sounds really neat. I heard Kay Kayla from Books and Lala was actually where the first person I heard talk about this book, and I've since heard other people who really enjoyed it. So I thought I would pick it up. I found it at the grocery store for like seven dollars, so I had to get it. This beauty here is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. I believe this one is sort of like a historical fiction mixed with some fantasy. And I think I heard of this one from Miss Emma Reads a lot. I think that's what her oops, her YouTube handle is. She's really sweet. She's got just like a very like whimsy personality. I love her videos. I just think she's so adorable. But I did hear her talking about this one by Leslie Walton. And I am really interested in it. I found it on a books for pretty cheap. And I just... I'm so excited. I managed to find the, I don't know if it comes in paperback, but I found a hardcover and it's rose gold foil. Like, can we take a minute? Can we take a minute? I am obsessed with this. And actually, like I have mentioned before, I'm like torn between dust covers on, dust covers off because I love naked spines, but I also think that this dust cover is like especially gorgeous. The next book that I have is Illuminae, and I've heard a lot of different people. I think Mackenzie Lane is the first one that I heard talk about this book. I don't really even know what's it, what it's about. I know it's a trilogy, and I know that it's got some sci-fi elements, but just the way she describes the characters, I'm like, I feel like I'm a very character-driven person. If I really like the characters, I can probably follow them anywhere. I just, I get really attached to the people in the books, and if I have no connection to them, then I tend to not enjoy it quite as much. One thing I've never seen is anyone actually take off, like, the dust cover, though. Um, it's plastic, which is kind of interesting, but I think the book underneath is probably the coolest looking hardback that I have. It's just very colorful, and I think it'll look really neat on the shelf, but again, I'm torn, because that also looks pretty badass, so there's that. I am really excited to read this series. I do need to pick up the other two. I tend to like to start series once I have all the books, so I bought them. I think I'll just space them out a little bit, maybe read them near Christmas time. Next, we have Peter Pan, also a fellow booktuber recommendation. If you haven't seen Murphy Napier's videos, she is adorable. I have never actually read the story of Peter Pan, but only ever seen the movies and not for a long time. But she said it was really whimsical and fun, and I do have a six-year-old and a three-year-old, so I think my son will actually enjoy reading this with me after I read it. I think it'll be really fun to do together. Next, I have the Home From Wanted Girls. If you want an in-depth, super spoiler-ridden, sassy, salty review, I do have a reading vlog that I did while I was reading this book. It was not my favorite. Um, it's based, or supposed to be based on a 15-year-old girl who has to give up her child, and later on when she's older and her kid's grown up, they reunite. I would say it's more about an awkward love triangle slash like old feelings. Just a very long drawn out build up and then eventually the like family element comes into play. Uh, it gets really good reviews on Goodreads though, so you should read the synopsis, read some reviews and decide for yourself whether or not you want to read it. I don't recommend it, but that doesn't mean you won't like it. And then last but not least, and I already checked the dust cover for this one because I did not plan ahead. Um, but I got Marcus Suzak's The Book Thief, and I am so glad that I got this book. I absolutely adored it. I ugly cried all over this book. I absolutely loved it. I think it was wonderful. It was written really well, and I just, I got into it so hard, and it just ate me up, and it spat me out. Like, I was just a feelings fountain. Could not even. And I just adored this book. Alright guys, so this is the end of my summer haul video. This is all the books minus Children of Blood and Bone that I purchased this summer. I'm really excited to have a good stack of books to climb into. And this is heavy, so Oof. I'm gonna put that down. But yeah, I'm really excited to have a good stack of books to kind of keep going through the months. I like to pick up a few each month just to kind of carry me over so I'm either I don't get to like the end of my reading list, but I also am trying not to buy so many that I can't catch up because I don't want to buy them and have them sit on my shelf for another five years, which has seriously happened to some of the memoirs and books on my shelf already. Anyway, I am going to wrap this up really quick. If you have any book recommendations or you've read any of these books and you love them or hated them or whatever, don't leave spoilers down below, but definitely leave recommendations down below or like if you didn't like something, feel free to say that. Just like, don't tell me why, because I already bought them, so I have to read them. Um, 
but any recommendations anything like that leave them down below if you have like a similar style of books to me or like you like similar things or you think you do leave a comment down below because i'm always on the hunt to add things to my tbr or my list on goodreads and every so often i'll just go and pick a few off of a books or whatever and purchase them anyway i will talk to you all later thanks so much for watching bye